What's up guys, welcome to another pickups video. Today has to be hands down the best haul that I've ever put together. We got five pairs of sneakers, we got Air Jordan 1s, we got Puma sneakers, we got clothing from Top Man, all that other amazing stuff. So let's get it started. For item number one, we got the Air Jordan 1 in the Bloodline colorway. I really love this shoe and I wanted to start off the video with a banger and something that you guys haven't seen before. So I picked these up in April, uh, April 30th to be exact, and I just got them in recently. Uh, so that just goes to show you how sort of, you know, the mailing system has been right now, but totally understand. Either way, I really do think this is a, a, a pair of shoes that people are going to look back on and realize, man, I really wish that, you know, I picked it up. And I think the reason for that is because of the simple, you know, Chicago Bulls colors that we see here. So the reason why it gets its name, the Bloodline, is because of the red piping that you see along uh, the panels of the sneakers. And on the inside of the shoe it says, who said man was not meant to fly. So there's some great details that come along with these. Additionally, there were a pair of laces uh, that came with these, a number of different laces. Uh, particularly though, they had a black pair of laces. And on the lace itself, it, in red font, it does say the same thing, who said man was not meant to fly. But what I'd like to do for all of my Air Jordan 1s with a white tongue is I like to put on white laces and I like that really streamlined look here and you know if you look at some of the OG colorways like the breads or the royals they come with a black tongue black tongue black laces white tongue white laces um, and this is just a really clean shoe and one that I was sort of uh, sad that I had missed out on so back in April I got the GST check from doing my taxes so I was like you know what let me reward myself for the hard work that I like to do and put out videos for you guys. So I was like, you know what? Time to cop a sneaker. So uh, for the first item that we got here, uh, it's the Air Jordan 1 Bloodline. The second pickup on the list is the Air Jordan 1 in the Royal Toe colorway. I've done a review on this so far, uh, so definitely check that out in the card at the top right corner if you haven't already. And uh, I'm just absolutely loving this shoe. Just the, the color combinations are just incredible. The blue, the royal blue with that sort of Chicago uh, type paneling on the sides really clean colorway and this blue is nice and bright and vibrant so it's perfect for summertime as well and this just shows to show you uh, you know a great example of that lacing situation that I was speaking to earlier um, as you can see this has a black tongue so I keep it with the black laces um, and I think it's just like and like I said it's a nice streamlined look the Royal Toes is a colorway that's uh, you know relatively in the middle uh, in terms of hype uh, this summer so uh, you know you can't compare it to some of the OG colorways but what I can tell you you is that this is a really clean colorway and I think that like I said similar to the bloodlines down the road people are gonna look back at this shoe and wish that they picked it up and uh, it isn't a perfect shoe though I do think that they sort of uh, should have kept this uh, Air Jordan wings logo either black or they should have kept it blue but either way I'm just gonna keep it white a lot of people like to customize them and and uh, paint them themselves but you know what for the time being I'm just gonna keep it as is I've only worn these once so far um, so I'm really excited and pumped to wear these a lot more, you know, with the quarantine situation, you're buying clothes, you're buying shoes, and it's just one of those things where it's like, ah, uh, you know, I can't wait for the opportunity to wear these, but I know it's gonna come uh, shortly. Now, with that being said, this is a very wearable sneaker. You know what, I like to wear it with high white socks. You can wear it with a pair of black skinny jeans and you're good to go. Either way, I'm just really excited to have picked up the Royal Toes. And gone are the days that I'm gonna be missing out on Air Jordan 1. So, either way, for item number two on this list, we got the Air Jordan 1 Royal Toe. Moving along with May pickups, we got the Air Jordan 5 in the Fire Red colorway. I did a review on this as well, so if you guys want to check that out, you can do so by clicking the card in the top right corner. And, uh, you know, coming off of the show, The Last Dance, I really set out to, you know, be a real collector of those OG original Air Jordan colorways. And so this was definitely something that was included on that list that I have. By the way, I literally have an Excel spreadsheet of all of the Air Jordan co original colorways that he played in. And like I said, I'm just ticking them off one by one. So I think I have about like 
10 on that list or 10 or 12 or something like that. So either way, this is an OG Jordan colorway, of course. It's got the Nike Air on the back, which I was so pleased with. And in terms of the shoe itself, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. The quality is really great. As you can see, it's already creasing, which I actually enjoy. Not not too much, okay, of, of course. You know, I don't want to, you know, say that I love creasing, but to me, it just shows that this is quality leather because that's what leather is supposed to do. And just in terms of the craftsmanship of the shoe as well, it was just really well put together. So when it comes to any, you know, original colorways uh, coming out this year, I am definitely getting them all. But either way, the Air Jordan 5 is such a clean shoe. You know, there's so many different ways you can style this as well. Because it's a bulky shoe, what I would do is I would rock it with sort of, uh, you know, instead of skinny fitting pants, I would rock it with probably slim fitting pants. Uh, so what I can do is I will link a pair, uh, one of my favorite slim fitting jeans, a light, nice light wash color because the light wash jeans go well with the white sneakers. So I'll link those in the description box below for you guys. But either way, um, for the last Jordan pickup on this list, I'm very pleased to, in the month of May, have gotten this pair of fire, pardon the pun, Air Jordan 5s. Moving along with more kicks, we got some Puma love here. This is the Puma Future Rider, my newest favorite pickup. I am absolutely loving these shoes. The comfort on them is amazing and just the colors and the colorway itself is just so wild and crazy and just screams summer. Um, smash that like button for you, for me guys if you checked out my How to Style Puma lookbook. If you guys are into Puma sneakers, into just a different variety of sneaker brands, click that link at the top right corner um, and go check that out. It is by far some of the best editing that I've ever put together. Guys, I'm really trying to work hard at improving some of my editing skills so that I can make an overall better video as opposed to just, you know, a simple sneaker review. Either way, this colorway is just mesmerizing to me. I just love the apps, the combination between this light orange that you see here with the gray suede toe box and this black synthetic leather, leather, sorry, just incredible with these white laces that just pop. And there are a number of other colors on the shoe that just really pop as well, including the pink and the blue along uh, on the tongue of the shoe. And of course, you've got these rectangle details along the heel of the shoe as well. Comfort is incredible on these. You got a nice rider foam cushioning setup. And uh, in terms of the traction pattern, you're, you're good to go. Uh, it does have this sort of waffle like print as you would see on like a you know a Nike sneaker. Either way, this Puma sneaker right here is just one of my favorites from their offerings. If you guys want to shop this sneaker right now, you can do so for the low, guys. It's only 80 bucks. Some of the other shoes I picked up on the list, 300, uh, you know, 250. This one, $80, and I promise you will not regret it. I'll leave a link in the description box for those. So let's move on to the next Puma sneaker. Next up is the Ralph Sampson low top and guys summer is just around the corner and as you can tell there's a bit of a trend going along with summer pickups. Uh, you saw those future riders in that crazy colorway so let's go a little bit more muted with this uh, Ralph Sampson low top in this triple white colorway. Absolutely love this shoe. Quality is incredible for the price. Also, these are 80 bucks. I would even hold off on these and pur purchasing them. Uh, they might go on discount, but either way, if you guys want to shop this incredible menswear style, casual wear shoe, you can do so uh, by hitting a link in the description box below as well. So um, this shoe, great. It has some great texture details along uh, the midsole of the shoe, uh, which really you know complements the sharp details of the shoe. I just love the paneling on this, the toe box. Yeah, it just really is an incredible shoe. It's got this asymmetric sort of toe box right here that just adds a nice detail to it. Um, and what, there, it's just such a great shoe for you to wear. It's got the shock wedge cushioning on the inside as well. And uh, you know, if you guys want a triple white uh, a shoe for the summertime, this is definitely the way to go. You can get it for cheap. You know what, if you mess it up, you can just buy yourself a new one, right? So either way, really glad to uh, be picking up this shoe. It's great for menswear looks as well. So when I do return to the office, best believe I'm gonna be rocking these. You can wear it with some casual slacks. You can wear it with some chinos, some jeans, and you're good to go. Guys, uh, let's move on to some clothes. Keeping 
the good vibes are going, we got some shorts for you guys. These ones are from Top Man. I got two pairs for you guys. And uh, what I love most about these is the comfort of them. Sweat shorts are an all day essential for me. You know, give me one in every single colorway. And you can absolutely do that uh, by shopping at Top Man. So they got some great options there. And uh, what I love most about this one in particular is the color of it. It's got this nice beige color. Um, and so, you know, of course we're all familiar with khaki shorts, you know, they, they've been a piece forever essentially so what I wanted to do is get a more modern look to it and this is uh, definitely a great option for that it's a nice sweat short it's in this tan colorway and uh, once again you got the comfort as well because they're 100% cotton um, and you know what sizing and availability is, is, is totally there for these shoes so if you want to check them out you can do so and uh, they got these great drawstring details and they do have a nice length of the drawstring and I and I say this because that's sort of some of the stuff that I look for you know I don't want it to be too short I can't tie it so what I like to do is I like to tie it and then let the, the drawstrings hang loose just, just so it adds a little bit of uh, extra details to the actual fit itself so either way really glad to have picked this up in this tan color it, it I just I'm a big light uh, earth tone kind of guy as you can tell by my jacket even the shirt below is, is actually like a cream color it's not a, a, a traditional white so uh, this is definitely something that I'm gonna be wearing for sure and uh, like I said you can throw these on with those Ralph Sampson lows you know throw it on with a white t-shirt and a Yankee hat and hey who's better than you I don't know right so uh, either way moving along from this sweat short we are going along with another dope pair of top man sweat shorts this one is just they hit it out of the park totally with this one similar to the ones i just showed you guys uh they do have some uh rope laces as opposed to the flat laces that they used for the drawstring and uh the craftsmanship of this one in particular is especially good i do believe it's a bit more of a premium compared to these uh tan color right here but the length on these is absolutely perfect and for me whenever i look for a pair of uh you know specifically gray i find it looks best with the gray uh, uh, sweatshorts. I do want those raw edges at the bottom. So these have the raw hem detail. And uh, you know what, when you throw them in the wash, when you dry them, those are gonna fray even more and it's gonna add some extra details to the, the shorts that make them more of a customized feel to them. But the absolute banger about these, the absolute, my favorite part about these shorts in particular is they do have, uh, you know, the fleece inner lining. And uh, you know, when you're in the summertime, it can get a little hot, but also, you know what, it can get breezy. You gotta keep the boys a little bit warmer, you know what I'm talking about? So, uh, you know, this fleece inner lining, not only is it comfortable, but it's gonna keep it cozy for the elements. So, either way, if you guys are looking for some sweat shorts, I'm a huge sweat short guy. I basically live in them in the summertime. Uh, these are some great options for you there. So that is the last pickup. I have a lot more different, you know, haul videos and pickup videos. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link them right over here for you guys to check out. So why don't we click on that video and I'll meet you guys there. Thanks so much for checking out this video, guys. Have a good one.